Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mine that new coin, Zealous, the most efficiently on every 30 series GPU and now featuring some 40 series GPUs. In case you haven't seen it before, this is my 30 series test rig. On it, I have one of every 30 series card and a couple RTX workstation cards. So I got the A2000, 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, A4000, 3070 Ti, 3080 10 gigabyte, 3080 12 gigabyte, 3080 Ti, 3090, and 3090 Ti. And I also have some 40 series cards. We're gonna do the 4070 Super, 4070 Ti Super, 4080 Super, and 4090 in this video on that new coin Zealous. And just right up front, let's not waste any time. Here's the results. Here's what you came and clicked on the video for. Here you go, you can pause it, whatever you need to do. And this is gonna be a really great place to get you started in mining Zealous the absolute most efficiently, which is my goal as a residential miner. Yours might be different. That's what I'm looking to do. And that's what these results showcase right there. In the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you how to approach overclocking Zealous so you can get the best performance out of your graphics card because every GPU is just a little bit different. And though this is gonna get you started, what I'm gonna teach you is how to tune from there so you can get the best performance out of the silicon in your GPU. So, a couple things you need to know to get started. Number one, you need the best mining software, which I've made in this video, is Regal Miner 1.17.2, just came out very recently. That's the best performing miner. Depending when you watch this video, that could change, but I will update down in a pinned comment below. And you also may see different hash rate improvements come out over time, but I'm pretty confident the approach I'm gonna teach you on how to overclock your GPUs is still gonna be the best, though you may get some performance boosts, just like the Regal Miner gave us very recently. Mining pools that are available for you, K1 Pool, Viper.net, two of the most popular pools for you to mine on. And then I'm gonna show you how to do all of this right here in HiveOS, my mining platform of choice. If you don't use HiveOS yet, I highly recommend you do. Link down in the description of this video. So, told you I was gonna teach you the approach for how to get the best performance out of your GPUs. And in fact, the 30 series cards and 40 series cards take a completely different approach. Though I will say this, in testing this algorithm for the last week, there's a lot of different approaches you can take with GPU overclocking for mining, from locking the memory, to locking the core, to doing offsets instead. And I gotta say with Zealous Hash, pretty much all of them get you in the same ballpark. But because I'm obsessed with this, I kept going and I really put them head to head and I found for every single one of my GPUs that in fact locking the memory, doing a core lock and doing a core offset gave me the most efficient performance. And that's what I'm gonna walk you through how to do in the rest of this video. So 30 series rig, over in Hive OS, let me pull up all of the overclocks for all of these GPUs. This is the same information that you saw uh, over in the spreadsheet. And you can see the approach that I've taken is to lock the memory clock, either at 5,000 or 5,001. Now let me pause here and show you how I know to use those numbers. Let me teach you this. So I'm in HiveOS here, and I'm gonna pull up NVIDIA S-SMI-Q-D supported underscore clocks and that if you just do that it's going to show you all the supported clocks for every single gpu in your rig but you can add this additional argument which is dash i and then what number gpu you want to select so i think i want to do four which is going to show me the 3070 so when i hit enter here it's going to show me all the supported memory locks and core locks for that gpu so we're just gonna scroll up here and start over at the top. And you can see it starts with memory. The highest that the memory clock can run on that is 7,001. So you could lock it up there, but it also has all the supported core locks, which is how I know they move in increments of 15. So how did I know to use 5,001? That's also here, that's 6801. So you can try all those different memory locks, but you can see that that GPU supports 5,001. That's how I know to use that memory lock. And that's how I know that also the core locks work up and down in increments of 15 and what the maximum one this GPU is capable of doing. And then of course, what the minimum ones it's capable of doing, though that may not make sense for mining. So back to 
the 30 series rig, that's the approach that I've taken. Lock the memory, do that first. After you've done that, then you can start locking the core to reduce the power the GPU is pulling. On 30 series cards, really great place to start is either 1440 or 1470, and then just go up and down in increments of 15 there. And then what you do as you look at the mining software, which is right here on your screen, is you check that efficiency column. You see, is that number going up? If it's going up, you're getting more efficient. Going down, you're getting less efficient. So as you tweak, look to see and make sure you're heading in the right direction. From there, the next thing that you want to do is come in and do a core clock offset. This is where you're going to save some additional wattage, maybe like two, three, four, five watts. And a good place to start for these cards is around 200. And you're going to see immediate improvements right there in your efficiency. And then you can go up in increments of 10 or 20 until you get crashes or you just don't get any impact at all. Again, you're taking a close look at that efficiency score, which should be improving as you're doing this work. Once you've done that, that's it. You found the most efficient way to mine Zealous Hash on your 30 series cards. The 40 series GPUs are different. Let's go check those out. So I tested extensively all the different approaches. And what I found is that actually the old school memory offset, pushing the memory as far as you can, and then locking the core to reduce power is in fact the best approach. So that's this here. For uh, the 40 series GPUs, you can push the memory pretty far, almost into that 4,000 range, depending on the graphics card. Once you do that, you're gonna start pulling the core back. Now these GPUs run very high on the core. You can see the default core in the mining software or using that Nvidia command I taught you earlier. And then just pull back from where it's running on default and you're gonna see some massive efficiency gains. Again, you're looking right here in the mining software to see what direction your efficiency is heading in just like you were testing the 30 series cards. And once you've done that, you are in the absolute most efficient place that you could possibly be on all of your GPUs mining Zealous. So as we wrap this video up, let's just take a look at the performance of all these GPUs that I've been testing. A couple things surprised me here, a couple things didn't surprise me. Let's talk through them together, have some fun. So the 4090 coming in, an absolute beast of a GPU. I don't think that's a secret at this point. Performing the most efficient, the most hash rate on Zealous Hash. Absolutely incredible graphics card. Right behind that actually is the 4080 Super, which I just tested for the first time using this algorithm. I just unboxed it and it does incredible and I'm surprised and impressed. So that was a big surprise seeing just how much performance and how efficient that GPU can mine as well. Now going back to some of the 30 series cards, the A2000, 3060 Ti, A4000, 3070, all coming on extremely strong in performance, just like they pretty much do on any algorithm. Great great GPUs. Things that surprised me, 3080 was really tough on this one. I tried a ton of different approaches. Perhaps I have an underperforming car, but that was a really tough GPU to get close to as efficient as I think it can be. And I tried quite a bit. 3080 12 gigabyte continues to be the worst GPU ever created. 3090 also a really low efficiency score on this algorithm, which surprised me as well. Uh, and then taking a look at the 40 series cards, 4070 Super, pretty much right in the ballpark of those really efficient 30 series cards. And then the 4070 Ti Super just continues to not impress me. I wonder if I got bad silicon lottery on that card, but it just, in everything I test on it, it just really doesn't do well. But anyway, that's some fun going over all those GPUs. I love having all these. I love testing all this stuff for all of you and for myself. So I hope it was helpful. If it was, do me a favor, smash the like button, sub to the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know how, if you're mining this, what performance you're getting, any recommendations you might have for me. Uh, and just overall, did you enjoy hanging out with me? <laughs> hope you enjoy the video, I really hope you do. Uh, like button, sub, links down in the description. Join my Discord if you wanna chat. Hash rates for Zealous or anything else. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.